The decanters were uh, usually made in two sizes. You can see both of these here. Uh, the uh, miniature uh, or uh, 50 milliliter or the uh, four-fifths of the quart uh, or 750 milliliter. Uh, however, a handful of the half gallon uh, or 1.75 uh, liter and uh, the gallon sizes uh, were also made. And uh, so uh, with the gallons here, you're seeing uh, some of the largest decanters ever made. Uh, but they uh, also experimented in the micro mini size and uh, the fox family and the uh, coyote family down here uh, are that. And that's the smallest uh, anyone ever tried in the decanter industry. They decided not to go forward with those. So you're seeing at once the largest and the uh, smallest here. And you can compare with the Fox family the micro mini as compared to the regular mini. Yes, uh, Ski Country uh, also made uh, two releases, uh, very limited there for the club members at the auctions. Uh, uh, they made uh, paperweights, and those were not decanters, but they were simply sculptures. And uh, the uh, L there is uh, one of the paperweights. It doesn't hold anything. It's uh, just a porcelain sculpture. And uh, the other was a uh, bald eagle. And uh, they also, uh, at the end, uh, with uh, Barbara Foss's uh, last design, the kachina, they uh, made uh, figurines. And uh, the silver kachina up there, which is very rare. Uh, uh, is uh, that that's a lower production run than uh, the gold skier. Uh, that's about the rarest you'll find, which is more than one of a kind. Uh, that uh, was uh, one of the figurines they made. And once they were made, let me go over here and get something, real quick. <laughs> The decanters were then packed into specially designed styrofoam containers for shipment. And uh, these protected them as they were shipped everywhere. This particular one has a World War II submarine in it. And uh, hopefully I can open it without incident, yes. Uh, and here is uh, what it looks like uh, packed up. Uh, the submarine's top, uh, which is the stopper, is uh, over to the side there while the body is in the uh, main there. And uh, this also shows you a bit of the uh, uh, breadth of uh, subjects that uh, Ski Country uh, went through. Uh, they never made a larger design of this, uh, by the way, because uh, of uh, warping uh, while it was fired. Uh, it just wouldn't work. Were sometimes uh, filled actually had uh, bourbon whiskey in them. And uh, they were uh, then distributed for sale. Uh, sometimes there would be uh, specific targeted markets like uh, Arizona for uh, uh, Barbara's uh, ceremonial Indian dancers, uh, or Alaska for their uh, Arctic wildlife uh, series, uh, like the walrus over up there at the end. And uh, three decanters uh, were even shipped as far as Australia and filled with sepelt cream sherry and then brought back and sold. The, uh, those were the uh, koala and the black swan and uh, the kangaroo. The ski country productions were made in several categories for people's uh, interest and these included uh, the club bottles which were unique wall hanging decanters. You, you, they had holes in the back of them that you could just hang them on the wall. And uh, one of these is the uh, bluebirds which is uh, sitting on its back over here. And uh, they also made eagles, falcons, and hawks uh, uh, fish, which they uh, like to create using a neat lifelike uh, shining glaze to them. Uh, animals, rodeo, game birds, horned and antlered animals, uh, Christmas decanters, owls, Indians, waterfowl, banded waterfowl, which uh, on their legs they had bands which uh, showed the year that they were produced, <laughs> which is a little clever. And uh, part of the proceeds of uh, th those particular ones uh, went to support uh, Ducks Unlimited. Uh, they also did domestic animals, uh, birds, and uh, circus. Uh, like uh, that wagon there uh, belongs to the circus, for instance, uh, and the uh, ringmaster up there. And uh, those were made in conjunction with the Barnum Festival in uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut. And uh, 
customer specialties, which were uh, other subjects uh, not fitting in the general categories, uh, like the submarine. And uh, beyond ones like the submarine, uh, th there's uh, two others here, which uh, are uh, they're rather fitting for uh, this time of the year. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, bipartisan, of course, uh, and uh, one could take uh, one and uh, display it for your favorite political party. Uh, uh, though uh, their heads come off, uh, you could decapitate one or both if you want. <laughs> you can see here, over this one, uh, it is the Rocky Mountain sheep, which uh, they're native to Colorado here. So this is a Colorado animal they did. And uh, that, those were part of the uh, popular uh, Grand Slam series of four bighorn sheep decanters. And they, uh, as you can see, they were quite a challenge to produce, get the horns uh, correct and everything, but with uh, great reward, uh, they were popular. You can uh, compare uh, this decanter with uh, the painting in the auction catalog that's uh, in here. Uh, showing on the uh, surface, uh, surface there, and you can uh, uh, tell uh, the uh, transition from the original art to the uh, production piece there. And uh, yeah, this little guy here is another of the Grand Slam series. This is the Stone Sheep, and uh, this one is the original mock up of the. Uh, miniature of the uh, stone sheep, which uh, is a neat postured one. Uh, the other three mock-ups went together in one auction, and this one I got in another auction, and uh, it seemed that the one who got the first three uh, didn't show up. Uh, this one went awfully cheap, and uh, so I'm hopeful one day that the whole series could be reunited, but I have no idea who has the first three. Yeah, this one here is another popular one. It's uh, the pheasant in the corn. And its uh, stopper is, uh, might not even be able to uh, make it out. They put it around uh, in the area of the neckline. It's a ring neck pheasant, which uh, is a um, somewhat clever place uh, to uh, put stoppers. They like to be a bit creative. Yeah, and Katona's one here, and uh, on uh, several of the uh, miniature Indians, they made the base the stopper <laughs> as well. Though uh, sometimes uh, they got even uh, more clever, such as uh, with the brown trout. Now, uh, can you tell where the base is on this, or the stopper is on this one? Any guesses? <laughs> It's a through the bottom, <laughs> a little plastic stopper <laughs> on the bottom. They made, uh, I think, three designs this way. <laughs> and uh, the, the stopper's still good. This guy's still filled. <laughs> At their height, the ski country decanters were popular around the country, uh, so much so that ski country had its own nationwide collector bottle club uh, and uh, they had uh, their own newsletter. This is an early edition of the uh, Ski Country Collector and uh, they give you price guides <laughs> and you could order the decanters uh, from them and uh, when they had uh, new releases uh, for instance like uh, the walrus up there they <laughs> gave you these uh, color uh, images to help market them. And uh, they also had this uh, sleek catalog uh, for folks, which uh, had in them uh, color images of all the uh, decanters uh, that they've made. I believe it even has an index in the back. And uh, there you could uh, thumb through if you could never see them in person and uh, uh, be able to see if you might uh, like to get one and order one from them. <laughs> 